So uh, as a, a training provider, uh, the RTO, MTA Institute, has a, a, a regulatory obligation to make sure that our trainer assessors are current and we provide them with professional development. So it's a good time of year for us. We have it two times a year. Our trainers, all of our trainers throughout Queensland are here for three days to provide that professional development that we need. We want to make sure that our trainers are the most competent and confident trainers they could possibly be. So what that means is we give them the tools and equipment and the professional development so they can be at the forefront of their teaching craft um, and their training craft as well as their technical. We're actually doing a refresher in terms of depowering the electric vehicles. We did this in 2014, we did it again in 2018. Um, we sort of pride ourselves in being the forefront. But what's happened is our trainers are now starting to see demand in the apprenticeship model to have their apprentices doing depower. So what we want to make sure is our trainers are up to speed in terms of the technical nature of depowering a vehicle. So when they deliver the training, they are absolutely topped up and ready to go in terms of the technical requirements and knowledge and skills. So that's part of the professional development. Another session we are providing our trainers is uh, we. Our trainers go into the workplace and develop very strong relationships with their students because it is one-on-one -on -one and with their employers. One of the sessions we are providing, it's around being an accidental counsellor. So what's that mean? It means that when we're out there doing our business, um, at times we have students that may need some additional assistance and it may not necessarily be around their training. They might be struggling for in terms of their life or workplace. So our trainers automatically become counsellors, um, which we are happy to do. So we're doing a session on how to become or how to navigate that becoming an accidental counsellor. So in addition to the professional development that we sort of have scheduled in for the three days is the opportunity to get all the team together. So we, obviously Queensland's quite sparse, you know, head office is Brisbane. We have trainers all the way, East Coast, all the way to Cairns, Mount Isa, Emerald, etc. What that represents is a challenge sometimes in building that community and culture. We want to look after our people so um, they don't feel that they're remote and isolated to head office. So um, that's one of the pieces of the professional development or the trainers met as agenda is to actually be together as a group, uh, united as an organisation.